Good afternoon, sir and classmate. The topic that I will be discussing with you today is intermolecular forces. So our objective for this lesson that we need to achieve at the end of the lesson of, or the discussion is that we should be able to examine the forces that are responsible for the attraction of molecules to each other and explain the physical properties of substances. Okay, uh, I'm sure tayo nakapanood ng basketball league, na uh, inter-barangay basketball league na kung saan ang mga participant is from different barangay and also international budget na binubuo ng iba't ibang nation. In this case, sa intermolecular uh, molecule naman niyong involved. Ano nga ba yung intermolecular forces of attraction? These are forces that holds the molecule together. So meron tayong iba't ibang uh, types of intermolecular force. We have London dispersion force, dipole-dipole force, hydrogen force, and ion dipole force. This is arranged from uh, weak to, to, the, to the strongest type of intermolecular forces of attraction. So in relationship, if you have a strong foundation, kahit ano or sino man yung dumating, hindi kayo maghihiwalay. Pero... Once yung isa sa inyo ay naging cold, nagkakaroon ng konting distance. At, at some point, nauuwi sa break up. Okay? Let's go and explore the attraction between molecule. Starting with London dispersion force. So, in London dispersion force, this, uh, this is when an even distribution of electron are created due to the sudden disturbance in the electron cloud because of spontaneous uh, movement of electron. This is now a called instantaneous dipole. Why? This instantaneous dipole or temporary dipole for a very short time period which contain a negative, a partial negative where most of the electron are there and partial positive for the side of less electron. Okay? That will cause to another neutral atom, to the nearby neutral atom, to turn into dipole. Because their electron uh, can easily be, be distorted by instantaneous dipole, na tinatawag naman natin ngayong induced dipole, kasi in-induce siya ng, is ng instantaneous dipole. Now, kapag polar na silang pareho, they will now form a weak attraction from each other na London dispersion force. Because it's weak, they tend to be fragile and easily disrupted. Katulad ng dry ice. Because dry ice is a non-polar and zero-dipole moment. Ngayon, kapag, mas ma- kapag mataas ang London dispersion force, mas polarizable ang isang molecule. Pero ang, porazib- ang polarizability is nakadepends on the number of electron. More number of electron, more intermolecular forces, mas polarizable yung molecule. Yan. Look our example here. Meron tayong uh, fluorine 2 na gas, Cl2, which also a gas, Br2 na liquid, and iodine 2 which is solid, compact. As you will notice, from left to right, okay, their number of electrons is increasing. Also, their boiling point. It only means that iodine 2 na solid, which contains higher number of electrons at boiling point, ay ang merong pinakamataas na uh, or strongest London dispersion force compared dito sa tatlo na liquid and gas. Bakit? Kasi, Ang gas tend to have a very low boiling point, usually solid yung may mas mataas na boiling point. Another thing is ang surface area. Okay, we have pentane and eupentane. They are they have the same molecular formula and also the same number of electrons, but they differ in structure. As you will notice, ang pentane ay merong chain structure na merong larger surface surface area and larger contact points compared dito sa branch na uh, neopentane kasi mas mataas ang surface area mataas ang london dispersion force and ha, ha, ano mataas din ang boiling point larger molecule have a greater induced dipoles because their electron can travel further when they being repelled by electron from other molecules Larger molecules with high electron are polarizable kasi yung electron cloud nila can easily be di- distorted. Okay? 
So, strongest London dispersion force and high bo- higher boiling point facing my higher surface area, which is yung Enpentain. Next one is dipole-dipole force. This dipole-dipole force occurs when uh, partial charges formed within one molecule are attracted to an opposite partial charge in a nearby molecule. Example, itong monochloride na uh, iodine monochloride na disinfectant. They occur when this partial positive of this molecule uh, attracted dito sa partial negative of this molecule. Together, they form a dipole-dipole bond. Okay? So, whenever a molecule that are interacting with each other are polar, so we know that the intermolecular force of attraction sa kanila ay dipole-dipole. Be- uh, because that dipole exists because of polar, there's an equal pool of electron. Another example ay itong, uh, um, itong sugar dissolved in water. Because sugar molecule contains so many hydrogen, which is partial positive, na attracted to the partial negative of Uh, water. So, the water molecule attracts some the uh, sugar molecule and pull them away. So, meron itong physical consequences. Let's say, for example, um, itong iodine monochloride are solid sa 0 degree Celsius. Pero itong Br2 naman ay liquid sa 0 degree Celsius. Why is that? Because uh, intermolecular forces of attraction na dipole-dipole sa Uh, iodine, mo, iodine monochloride are sufficient to cause them to form a solid at 0 degrees Celsius. Pero, dito sa BR2 na non-polar molecule are not sufficient yung kanilang intermolecular force. That's why the uh, iodine monochloride is solid and then itong uh, BR2 naman ay liquid at 0 degrees Celsius. Dipole-dipole also influence the solubility. Let's say, for example, we have water and ethanol, C2H5OH. They can be mixed. Why? Because uh, water and ethanol is strong enough in pushing uh, water molecules to make uh, room for ethanol molecules. Unlike ang um, water and non-polar molecule na gasoline na octane, CH8, CH18 na non-polar, they cannot be mixed because uh, their bond are very weak because hydrocarbon cannot disrupt the stronger uh, water molecule attraction. Okay? And the presence of hydrogen bond of the substance indicates that the, mole- that the molecule are polar. So it will be soluble also in polar solvent lang. Okay? which leads to another type of intermolecular force, which, hi- which is hydrogen bond force. This attraction is a special type of dipole-dipole bond because both molecules are polar. It is a bond between hydrogen and highly electronegative atom. In this case, meron tayong two molecule ng NH3, ammonia. We all know that the nitrogen in ammonia is partial negative because na- nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen. That's why hydrogen is partial Positive. So, the hydrogen of this molecule, which is partial positive, will be attracted to the partial negative of this ammonia molecule. Same thing, kapag may water, because water contains a partial positive hydrogen, it can be attracted to partial negative of ammonia. Because partial positive hydrogen of one molecule interacts with partial negative fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen atoms in another molecule, together they can make a very strong bond. Because those atoms strengthen the attraction between molecules. That is the reason why hydrogen bond is stronger than dipole-dipole bond. Another example, the water, yung tubig na iniinaw natin, is merong hydrogen bond. The reason why they have high boiling point and melting point. That means that you need a very high energy to break the strong intermolecular force between those water molecules. Last type of IMF is ion dipole force. This attraction is most commonly found in uh, solution because it is a uh, attraction between ionic compound and a uh, polar solvent like water. So this is a result of electrostatic attraction between an ion and a molar and a molecule that contain dipole. In our example, we have here NaCl dissolved in water. As you can see, the cation attract the 
negative end, the, 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 the partial negative end of water, which is yung oxygen. While, uh, itong anion, it attracts the partial positive of water molecule, allowing them for maximum attraction. Ion dipole is uh, stronger than hydrogen and dipole-dipole attraction because the charge of the ion is much greater than the charge of a dipole. So to summarize, we have here the type of interaction and the factors responsible for their interaction. For hydrogen bonding, ang responsible dyan is one molecule of hydrogen bonded with highly electronegative atom interacting with another highly, ele highly electronegative atom with lone pairs of electron. For dipole-dipole, of course, it is a polar molecule. Ang responsible dyan for their interaction is their dipole moment. Yung uh, difference between electronegativities and the length of the dipole moment in and molecular geometry. For dipole induced dipole, of course, for the dipole, their dipole moment, the length. And then for the nonpolar, which is yung induced dipole, is how polarizable yung nonpolar molecule. And for the long done dispersion force is the polar polarizability. And the polar polarizability of the molecule is depends of the in the on the molar mass of the uh, molecule. Now, how the forces of attraction affect the properties of a compound? Okay, the strong type of attraction is ion dipole. Next is hydrogen bond. Next is dipole dipole, and the weakest is London dispersion bond. I mean force. Okay, if there's a uh, high or strong intermolecular forces of attraction, expect that there is also high boiling point and melting point and strong surface tension and viscosity but lower vapor tension. Because the intermolecular force present in a compound play a role in that compound properties. If the molecule in a liquid are held together by a tightly intermolecular force, this liquid I expected to behave differently than sa liquid na ang molecules I held together by just a, a weak intermolecular force of attraction. Because ang intermolecular force of attraction control how well the molecules stick together. This affects the physical properties ng mga substances, just like melting point and boiling point. For the melting point and boiling point, if the molecules stick together more, they will be tougher to break them apart. So, the rule of thumb, stronger intermolecular force of attraction, more energy is needed or required to break those uh, forces. And then, that is why ionic and polar covalent compounds have a high uh, boiling point and melting point. Also, enthalpy of fusion and enthalpy of vaporization. And this table of different substances from dinitrogen up to sodium fluoride, their melting point is increasing because those substances with highest melting point are those substances also with the highest enthalpy of fusion or the conversion of solid into liquid because they tend to be ionic compounds that are held together by a very strong electrostatic interaction. Doon naman sa mga substance with the highest boiling point, okay, those are substances with a strong intermolecular interaction that must be overcome to convert liquid into gas that resulting in high enthalpies of vaporization. If you notice, in their uh, enthalpy of fusion and enthalpy of vaporization, enthalpy of vaporization is greater than enthalpy of fusion. That is because it takes a lot more energy to completely separate the molecules in the conversion of liquid into gas than enable them only to move just, just to move past by one another freely or in the conversion of solid into liquid. Dipole-dipole attraction influence the evaporation of liquid and condensation of gas. In the condensation, kapag ang 
ang molecule ng gas phase ay na-transfer yung ibang kinetic energy sa pagkocollide with the slower gaseous molecule. When it loses the sufficient energy, tapos magkakaroon ng contact with the surface of the liquid, it can re-enter liquid phase. That is the process of uh, condensation. In a vapor pressure, okay, meron tayong mga substances in a liquid state na has the kinetic uh, energy sa mga molecules to move past each other. In vapor pressure, we have liquid substance here in two container that contains enough energy to move past each other continuously. But if we increase the temperature, even a strong bond is not enough to keep their molecules together. What will happen is that they will separate and turn into gas phase. Okay? But in a closed system, the water vapor will just hang, hang out with air molecule which also contains kinetic energy. What is happening when they are together is that they are continuously bumping to one another, gaining and losing electron. When they lose this electron, those va water vapor will get back into liquid phase. During that time, may evaporation at the same time a bit of condensation. Greater number of vapor molecules strike the container walls more frequently tataas ang pressure. The process of condensation and evaporation and reverse process will continue until it happens at the same rate and stop when the state of equilibrium ng vapor pressure ay na-reach. We have the following substances, water, methanol, ethanol, diethyl ether. Look at their boiling point. The higher the boiling point, the lower the vapor pressure at 20 degrees Celsius. That is because the hydrogen bond in water requires a lot of energy to break the intermolecular forces of attraction between the water molecule. Unlike the London dispersion force, and dipole-dipole bond in, di in diethyl ether, a uh, large amount of the substance vaporized at a very boiling point of 34.5 degree Celsius. Viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of the liquid to flow or the rate of their movement. The relationship between viscosity and intermolecular forces of attraction is shown on this table of hydrocarbon and pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, and nonane. Okay, nonane has the highest molar mass and so highest viscosity because the high molar mass is an indicative that the intermolecular forces of attraction between molecules is strong. London dispersion is the only type of uh, intermolecular force of attraction acting on this molecule of hydrocarbon. Why? Because the molecule is contained only carbon and hydrogen which is non-polar in zero dipole moment. The, the longer the chain, the higher the molar mass and viscosity of that substance. Therefore, the rate of movement of that substance is very slow because of the strong intermolecular force of attraction between the molecule of that hydrocarbon. Relationship between viscosity and intermolecular force of attraction as viscosity increases as intermolecular interaction or molecular size increases. Viscosity decreases rapidly when increasing temperature because the kinetic energy of the molecule increases and the higher kinetic energy enables the uh, molecule to overcome the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecule that prevent that substance from flowing. Last is surface tension. Surface tension is the net inward force by the molecule on the surface of the liquid. Now, uh, how can a needle float on the top of the water? That is because surface tension. When we look at the water molecule, so nagpo-form sila ng dipole-dipole attraction wherein the partial negative oxygen is attracted to the partial positive of other water molecule. Together, para silang nagkakapit-basic at iyan ang tinatawag na surface tension. 
That is why when you place a lightweight needle, hindi yan maghihiwalay at hindi lulubog ang karayom. 